Yo, 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 what up? Yup, what up? What up? What up? It's your girl, Nina Capone. Respect the hustle. And yes, 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 the queen is in the building. You already know I have the one and only, yes, this is look highly anticipated. You already know Michelle Shell, Urban Expressions, and everything else. I'm going to let her tell y'all, but listen. She's in a building today. I got her. I did not have to use duct tape, y'all. She came on her own. So true confessions. Here I am. And here what? she is. This fam right here. Come <laughs> on. We supposed, this is what we supposed to do. We just chopping it up. This is Listen. like this is like natural. So what's up? Thank you for coming. Look, of thank you course. for being here. This is just long overdue. Um, show you just um you started all of us. Like to be honest. First, let's give you your flowers. Um, you know, I've watched you for years and years and years and years. Um, and you, you've been a big influence on women in media, women behind this microphone, um, TV. I'm not there yet, but <laughs> we working on it, right? So just, just who's Shelly Shell? Because so many people hear the name, but you, I know who Shelly Shell, because that's my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But beyond... Urban Expressions and Shelly. Who is Shelly Shell? Oh, who is she? Let me see. I don't know. I guess I am a child of Most High God. I, you know, I'm definitely a, I am definitely, definitely a child of God. And that's what I live for. Absolutely. Um, but beyond that, I'm just somebody who likes to have and enjoy life. I really like to have fun. Absolutely. Even if, if I'm alone, I'm having fun. It's it's gonna be a joke. I'm joking on myself. I'm doing something <laughs> stupid. I'm even. I'm, I'm gonna do a dance. Right. I'm gonna sing. Listen, life fun. life is fun when you when you make it fun. When you enjoy life and you enjoy who you are. So let's talk about who you are. Let's get into Shelly Shell. How did you? Because you are the founder, the creator, the the mind behind. Oh. Oh, no, no, not the founder. The founder of uh -oh. Urban Expressions is Ed Box Brunson. Remember Ed Box? He was back in yes. 1992. He had the dress. So that he is the founder of it. Okay. Because his mother owned the station. See and how we learn this stuff, y'all already. You got to pull a shovel out. <laughs> and Dorothy Brunson was the first African American woman in the mm. nation to own a radio and TV station. So she wow. owned the radio station and she bought the TV station, but she was the first before mm. there was a Kathy Hughes, before I there was this. anybody, she was the first. And her name was Dorothy, Dorothy Brunson. And she, I worked for her. Wow. Mm. See, this is why it's important. <laughs> These interviews make all the sense in the world. So you started there. I was started she there your teacher or? <laughs> she? I was the intern. So okay. I started with Ed as the intern for Urban Expressions. Okay. But I was her executive assistant. Mm. And so it was two separate jobs, two separate things. It was so separate that, like, I would be trying to do Urban Expressions, and she would walk, she would walk by and hear Get me caught. and say, "You know, I'm gonna fire you and Ed. I'm gonna fire you. I'm firing you." And we was about to be fired almost every day because wow. my passion was for Urban Expressions. Wow! And and I couldn't hide it. I couldn't deny it. And it was just like, "Yo, this is it." I mean. This is what I want to do. I hear do. you. I don't. This executive assistant thing ain't for me, right? Personally, personally, even if it wasn't about urban expression, it wasn't for me. I ain't good at it, right? I ain't good I'm at being nobody's assistant. Just don't ask me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess somebody else to do it. Like that's not me. <laughs> what? That's not, like, when I went to, I, I didn't realize that's what it was. I don't, don't want to do that, right? No, that's right. not what I'm here for. Exactly. So she would be trying to fire us every day. <laughs> like it was just, that's and crazy. I and and she would say it loud because she's the she's the, I mean a rich black woman back in the day. Right. She came from picking cotton mm. to owning. Wow. So we big. can't talk about excuses. Like she didn't let anything excuse her. She was a hard worker. She didn't, she didn't like it would be midnight. She's still there. And she was older. Wow. She was older. So she had a lot of influence she, on you, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. But she was kind of mean too. But they but you know what? I, I think love that's her, that's me. They the ones that we learn from, you know, the mean. people with that with that that frisky the frisky old ladies. Mm, she was <laughs> She she, she she was mean. She I remember one day she had me cry. I mean, I'm in the bathroom crying. Oh like in the bathroom. Nice Shelly. And Shelly's nice, y'all. Y'all know I'm not the nicest, but Shelly actually is nice for real. I wasn't that I, I wasn't nice, always nice. That, <laughs> but, but that she was so it was like I was unbreakable old ladies crying. Mm. And then I was just like, but but now. I appreciate it. A lot of my why is because of her. Mm. I want to prove to her that I was the I, I was I was good. I, I want right. to prove to her that 
you bet on me. You thought I was the one. You wanted me. She she came after me. She right. wanted me as wow. her assistant. Ed was like, oh, Shelly, she'll do it. Mm-hmm. And she she was like, yes, she saw something in me. Mm. So I, my why is really proven to her. Like, listen, when I, w- while I'm doing it's not when I'm doing it now. Right. Like, I'm right. proven to her. Like, that is big for me because I, I remember that day crying. I mm. remember. I remember those nights sitting there putting packages together. I right. remember how I learned how to do TV because I didn't go to school for TV. Wow. I went to school so, for business. <laughs> <laughs> so you're self-taught when it comes down to the whole TV, the whole media thing. That's all self-taught. Self, it's self-taught in I mean, I worked at a station. So well, even though, that's still uh, self-taught, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you so, had I'm, access so I'm like this. Right, you I'm looking all around. Sales was my that's my jam. That's like wow. sales is but people don't know that they think it's although I'm gifted for this, but sales was sales. how I got if it wasn't for sales, this is how I got Listen. y'all only know me because of sales. Right. It wasn't because I had this prolific um voice and I was speaking, I was not the host of was, Urban <laughs> Like I was the salesperson, right? So so let's talk about that transition, like being in sales. What was your passion for sales? Because I know you still technically do sales. I know. I and people I could don't do realize more. in this mm-hmm. business, we do more sales than anything. So yes. let's talk a little bit about the sales before we get into the voice, because the sales without it, nothing if, else exists. If we didn't have sales, if I didn't like. When we started out as an intern, like it's me, my, my Monica was my is my sister, mm-hmm. and she was really on Urban Expressions. I okay. was just a tag along. Okay, I was in the right place at the right time, type of thing. Not, but I was like, I ain't checking for that show. I'm a business. I, I'm in school for. <laughs> I was in school. I was. I was. I was I'm an executive. I'm, I, no, this <laughs> even before I even started as her executive. I was oh, in school. Wow. I was a. That was a buck. So like, I'm you young. Doing it. And I'm like, I'm not doing this. This show is. I thought the show was quite little. Get out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, let's get out. <laughs> when it started, I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this show. I'm, and I went to church back then, so mm-hmm. I was really into. I grew up in the church, so I was wow. really into, oh, this is the devil's music. I don't want to get, I don't want to, I don't want this to take me away from where God has me. So right, I right. was just her tag along, and she was wow. like, come on, we just drive together. And Ed was my friend before her, but mm-hmm. I was like, I I met them prior to, nobody, before anybody else. Okay. Like, we was on a, um, like, their launch for the Channel 48 wow. was a boat, was on the, uh, the uh, Liberty boat, and we was on a boat, and they had all free <laughs> drinks, and it was a party. So, we partied together wow. before, before I even so got acquainted. But the show, Urban Expressions, I was like, no. No. So, how did you, how was that transition, just being not from hip-hop, you know, and like, but definitely not, but I, liking I mean, that's, it. I changed. So, so it's a transition. So, when, when I, I grew up watching BET. Okay. Right. So, I love music. I, I did the dances. I thought I was going to be a, like, my, in my back of my mind, mm-hmm. I wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> in the back of my mind, I always. But you do be dancing, Shelly. Y'all don't I know. Do, you do but Because in my head, like, I, when I was growing up mm-hmm. watching BET. I was like, yo, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a yeah, background dancer, dancer and it. I'm gonna do that. But then I started gaining weight, and I was like, well, I don't think I'm gonna be a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be where I'm right, going. Right. And then God started pushing me in the direction of like, all right, I gotta change my life. I gotta be like this. But music, mm-hmm. oh, I, I watch BET all day, every day. Wow, every day. So, like, is, would I you love- say that that's what kind of directed you to go that direction? It or? didn't. It didn't. It had mm. even though I watched videos every single day of my life. Like mm-hmm. me and videos was so we still didn't but, click to say, "Hey, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I no, want to do that." Really? No. I so what? What would you say is the, that pivotal moment? But where you didn't, say it wasn't me. It didn't click. It had nothing to do with me. That's what? how I know it's all God. So I'm sitting there <laughs> and it's a storm. You know, Urban Expression was the only live TV show mm-hmm. it was alive. Right. Right. And so that means if people call out, you yeah. stuck. Yeah, so it was, still a stormy, gotta go it was a stormy night. People called wow. out. And then it was only one guy. It was just Sko. Um, Got to give it up to Sko. Sko was like, I need help. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not helping you. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he came back once and then he came back again. No, I really need some help. No, I'm not helping you. I don't want to do this. I don't want to wow. do it. I don't want it. So by the third time, I just felt God like, yo, that's not nice. How can you be claiming God? And you like, you no, like, no. You're not helping. I'm not helping. I was like, all right. Oh, third time I get up 
And I was like, all right, this is how we going to do it. Mm -hmm. My personality comes in. This is how we going to do it like this. I see the way you've been doing it, but this is how we going to do it. All right. So let me take this. Let me do this. And then you do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they do it this way. And it wasn't, it wasn't purposeful. It just mm. was a natural. I, I see, I've been sitting here. So I see where the things the flaws are you've seen done it. differently. Right. I see it. And it's like, so my personality came in. So that day, from that day forth, I never wow. looked back. It was like, all right, well, we got to do this. We got to do mm -hmm. this. So, and it was an internship. And I started out as, um, of course, they instantly made me, they see my skills. Of course. Instantly made me his, uh, as assistant. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, this assistant thing is cool. That's not my thing. But I want to make money. Like, I'm not in life for not making money. My mind was always yes. on making money. Like, we we not going to be here making, not no. making no money. No, because why are we sitting here? Why, we, why, <laughs> why are we doing why this? Why are we doing this? Woo. Ooh, hey, <laughs> I mean, hip hop, you don't stop. But exactly. where is the money? So we're there and, we, and I'm going along. But then I started, they asked me to produce the word on the street, mm. which was the most popular. Yes, segment, it was. Because I'm a writer. They, mm -hmm. they all my gifts, every gift that I had, God was you making to use it. every gift was making room for me. Oh, I'm a writer. We need you to write out and you know put the segment together. No, I didn't. I never did it before, mm -hmm. but I knew I could do it. Right. I don't know why. Right. I just knew I could do it. All right, you want me to do this? I will do it. There we go. So I then I'm writing everybody out. I'm getting all the gossip. I'm I'm calling people. I, I mean I I I mean I grabbed really it all up, whole of it. put all their things wow. together, and he said, well. We just want one person on the word on the street. Mm -mm. I said, I heard you. But I put four people. I was like, oh, well, we're going to put everybody on. Everybody going to get a piece <laughs> of shine. It's going to be me. It's going to be Monty on the scene, my sister, mm -hmm. Sko, and Keith from up the block. So it's a whole cast. To put. Right. And I knew what he said, mm -hmm. but I was like, no, we're doing it my way, right? That's <laughs> what we do, wow. right? My, my way was always in my head. Like, wow. Well, well, it worked, though. It worked. It, it is. It so worked. then Took we off. started doing the word on the street. It was a popular thing. So then yes. I was like, y'all like this thing, huh? pay me <laughs> mm -hmm. so i started going out and saying you want the word on the street you can um pay right mm -hmm. to have us at your facility whether it's a music studio whether it's a club mm -hmm. whatever it is and i was making the money whether it's a clothing store whatever it is so so pay me so let's talk about that since, mm -hmm. you know, we, we geared from business. So that's basically with the respect business. to hustle. It's all respect to hustle, all right? Business. It's all business, right? So so let's talk about what was your transition into even understanding how to do that? I think, you know, a lot of people that do what we do, and you you and I, we had these conversations off camera a lot, um, don't really know how to get started, how to go get, you know, to offer that service to these facilities, to these places. What was your process of being somebody who was just like, hey, I want to get paid. And this is like, how did you even know? Like, this is how I get paid. It's crazy. I'm, I'm trying to think about how I knew it. God, I promise you, there was no rhyme or no. Reason. So y'all already know. Y'all got to believe in the God first of all, first and foremost. <laughs> God, I lie, whoever you, but I'm no, you, yeah, you, you gotta pick one. You pick, got, somebody pick somebody and go for it. Because all I'm gonna say is, it was just like. I learned and it wasn't nobody. So was, you was really just saying, okay, I know that this is what I want. This is what I have to do. And you kind of took that step. What's the process now? If you had to give somebody that advice on saying, okay, because we, you and I, yeah. Mm -hmm. So without me saying too much, dealing with people now as, as a consultant, you know, everybody comes through this door and they like, what direction, what direction do you give them now to say, they say, Shelly, I want to get, I want to make money doing this. And I know we're not going to give them too much because we consultants, y'all, y'all have to pay us. But <laughs> beyond that, you know, that first initial step, let's give some, let's drop some jewels. What, what jewel would you drop in the favor of going out to offer your, your media service? Well, now, you know what? I just, I, I offer more so teaching people how to make money. Absolutely. That's my, that's what, Absolutely. I, what I do. That's my courses is all about. So y'all know us <laughs> outside of this, then y'all know what we do. This is what we do. Right. <laughs> so if someone's coming to me, first and foremost, I'm going to, you know, it's mindset. Let's, let's, let's work on our mindset. Let's mm -hmm. see who you are. Right. Let's see what you're made of. I might give you a couple of tests. All right. You handle this, do this, do this. Mm -hmm. And if you come back with it done, then cool. I see if you, if you procrastinate a little bit, then I, <laughs> then, I, then I see what you can do. Absolutely. But then I know how to be, a, so I'm good at being account, being accountability to somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, so, so you do this? strategy, strategy, yeah. nonetheless, I would right. say strategy, but more so accountability because a lot of times, mm -hmm. because I know 
that I don't I don't necessarily have anybody to be that that holds me accountable except for myself. Mm-hmm, so right. I know that people need like I know there's times where I be sitting there like I need a kick in the butt. Right. And and I wish somebody would kick me in the butt. So so <laughs> and that's and that's I think that's what people, you know, we again that's my thing. I tell people if you're that type of person, I gotta send you to Shelly because she's kinder than I am when it comes down to that. Oh, I'm we definitely know. kind. And I, I'm yeah. not kind, unfortunately. And I, I admit it. I'm sorry, guys. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We we know who we are, and this is why you and I work we'll always work closely together. But when you dealing with that type of person, what you know, how do you help them change that mindset because again now we're going to mm-hmm. last show that emotional intelligence we getting people to adjust and change their mind which is huge on any business mm-hmm. so what what would you say the first step is once you feel like you're working with somebody who's not accountable who don't want to take accountability like or if they just listen sometimes they get in their own way i ask the questions mm-hmm. all right well what what exactly why did you do it i had this conversation with somebody yesterday one of my students <laughs> and i said well, well why didn't you do it well, what made you stop? We had a system. What made you stop? Mm-hmm. And then they said, well, I was just getting in my own way. So, all right. So now that you know that you were getting on your own way, let's let's put a date on this. I'm always, I'm going to put a date on it. Mm-hmm. Let's let's come up with a plan now, right. right? Right. Let's come up with a plan. And then I try to re- help them remember, what's your why? Why Why do you want to do this? How, how bad do you really want mm-hmm. this, right? Mm-hmm. How bad do you want it? So if you remember how bad you want it, then you know, listen, here's the I need you to go do uh, here's here's your here's your directive. So, right, you know, I right, need you to deliver right. these particular things right now, A, mm-hmm. B, C, D, and F G. And then th- then it gets done. Because I feel like if we deep dig deep down inside and say, mm-hmm. you understand, like, why are you here doing this? It's for so, you, not what me. Do, what right. do you want? But but meaning like sometimes our why is bigger than us. It's like our kids for those who have kids, or it's our uh, like I said, my why is some all, most often times mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna prove like she, like like I feel like she can see me and right. I'm like Dorothy right. Brunson, you see me and she probably can. You see what I'm doing? <laughs> right. You see what I'm doing? Right. She had she had a doctor's degree. I mm-hmm. wanted one. Right. Like and you got one. And right. So no, but we're gonna talk is, about that too. We ain't skipping is, it. Like this is the whole like it's like my when I dig deep, mm-hmm. it's that. It's like all right. I, right. I could because while she was here and I didn't, I didn't appreciate her as much as I could have. Right. You but know, we, we grow and we learn. And I, I was I, such a kid. I yeah, was you were a kid. A kid. And and the, the value in that is that you see it now and you know now and and you use that as your why and you're like you know what she's still my why. She, uh, she's I'm still, still gonna prove this to her. You know, yeah, yeah, like which she, is she gonna see me? She gonna see she this. Better see she, she, she better know. see me. Like, because I'm like hold up. Right. But, but I had access to a woman who came from picking cotton to own it, wow. to being the first woman to own a TV station. And all I could be is all punk and be all crying because she was tough on me. But you, you, you did use that kind of act. You used those resources. Oh, you I did. did. I did. did. Oh, I ain't going to sit and here and say like, I lo- I used everything. Like when it came to sales, um, she had a sales team, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm watching what they're doing. I'm watching the packages. I'm I'm creating my own packages. Mm-hmm. Nobody told me how to create packages, right? Right. So I'm looking at them. Mm-hmm. All right, let me. Oh, I'm create our packages, Urban Express's packages. Yeah. I'm um, I'm watching what they're doing, and mm-hmm. I'm I'm listening. I'm observing, and I'm like, ah, okay, taking okay. it all in. I'm taking it all <laughs> in. But my goal, I mean, I can't. I'm maybe this is it's the competitive nature, but my goal was to beat them too yeah because i love them though no but see you know I, what i'm I, so glad you I put said a disclaimer that. on this to say i love them because they're but still my friends as now. you as you mm-hmm. should you know and i you know of course i get it all the time every time i do something well you competing with shelly shell you competing with this person ever mm-hmm. and i laugh and i'm like competing i'm about to call her and ask her how to do something i want she come in here because i need shelly's energy y'all like y'all don't even understand Y'all, my friends give me energy, and so many of my friends. Um, shout out to Fire Chick and uh, Fire Chick. and Heat One Hundred, Monica. These yes, ladies rescue you. me from you. myself of going because I am not the nice one. I am the opposite of them. They are the nice ladies. I am not as nice sometimes, yeah. but <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like that that energy, and it's it's really a, we don't. Honestly, I don't think none of us do the same thing, to be quite honest. That's just in my head. We but we all complement each other. And I think that that's one of the things. It's like that competitiveness because we go hard. And that's just part of who we are. 
And it's like, ain't no love lost. No, y'all know I'm gonna go. Y'all, Nina back with her show. She gonna try to dominate the whole internet. Let me get mine. And that's it's just our competitiveness. That don't mean that we don't love each other, which is why every one of those ladies I mentioned will be on the show. And I, yeah. I think that's important to get to know us individually, who we are, that we're all friends behind all of this. Yes. Number one, we all support each other. Fire chick called me. We talk on the phone. Like we're all friends. And I think that's one of the things, you know. That sometimes people from outside looking in, they see it's only a few of us in this business for real. So we, we got to work together, mm -hmm. you know, and I feel like that compete. We can compete and, and love each other. I was I'm a rapper. I'm going to say I was a rapper. Just dropped two singles last week. But at the yeah. same time, like you ain't even see. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like we 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 I have a competitive nature. This is what we are supposed to do. We supposed to compete. Why? Because it makes us better. It makes us better. But I, I mean, I don't, I don't believe in comp. Like I don't see this as competition. But when it was in, at the station, that they worked for the station, and mm -hmm. I worked for the show. Yeah. Even though the show was on the station, right? But it's up to them to sell. They sell um, they do their, their slots. They they get to sell and the whole station, yours. right? But I get to sell this one show, right? Mm -hmm. So my goal is to get <laughs> to, more. Yeah. I want, I want to bring more in sales. more than them. So it came to a point where I was bringing in so much more that she told me to stop. <laughs> like this girl thinks she sells. Get out the she way. She told me to stop and. So mm. I think that was a lot of me being like I said I didn't appreciate her because she was mad mm -hmm. that I was at the I was at the height I was at the pinnacle I had I had um wow. I had the the flame broiled I'm not gonna say no names because right, right, we're not right, we're not right. promoting them right but I had the flame broiled people mm -hmm. the burger people mm -hmm. like they was about to sign we was about to sign wow. this contract wow and she said no you can no longer go after these major people because you're 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 exceeding everyone else of mm -hmm. course i am of yeah. course i this am this is what i said this to is do. what i want to do right like <laughs> this, this, i need i'm trying to get some money in my pocket right so um she made me stop but i think this is fast forward past me being her executive assistant mm -hmm. for a while eventually i said to her um i sat down i said to um ed who was the founder i said i want to do this full time mm. And I'm going to give up my salary. And I had a good salary and benefits and everything. I'm going to give this up. And I had only had, had said. What so you had to make money because in this business, we don't survive unless we go yeah. and do sales. We make money. You can't. I mean, media is advertising, advertising, marketing, you name it. It's all in it's there. All and we right. have to get paid for what we do or we don't get paid. Absolutely. So I came to her and I said, you know, with your blessing. Because mm -hmm. it's still the same station, Luke. <laughs> I'm not leaving, but I'm leaving. Okay, yeah, like, we, we're on the same station, <laughs> right? Here, and I need your blessing. Absolutely. So, so, with your blessing, mm -hmm. I would like to resign from this position. And with your help, I would like to excel at what I'm doing. And she said to me, "Do you believe you can do it?" I said, "Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Right. I do believe you believe you can make this out. I mm -hmm. believe I can make my salary. Yes, I do." Mm. And she said, "I am here to help you." And I yes, you have my blessings to so go ahead and resign. And I'm talking about giving up a great paycheck, right? Giving up my benefits, mm -hmm. giving it all up. And I had a car, and I had a, <clears throat> and I had a, um, I had an apartment. I had, had every, bills. I had bills. I was, I mm -hmm. mean, I was a little bit grown by that point. Like, right? I had to, I had to be grown for a second. No, we don't, <laughs> we don't like it there. <laughs> I had to, I had to we be, don't like it there at all. No, I had no. to be grown. So, but I believed that I could do it. Mm -hmm. I believe there was going to be no problem in making my salary. So that's why I went hard. That's why I was doing mm -hmm. it because the drive allowed me like, listen, I, I can make my you money. Sound, sound like you did it without fear. And I think, you know, one of the big things I, I believe um, with entrepreneurs today, a lot of them, you know, we kind of move, but we, you and I move, we just do it. And I, I'm that, of course, I'm that type of person, you but, <laughs> but some people, you know, they let fear I've had stop it. them, you know, you, you better believe it. One of my, if, if I'm speaking, like mm -hmm. if I'm going out to speak, if you're talking about, I let fear stop me. Like this was, that was that particular situation. Right. 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 So, but we're on the TV station in the beginning. I was just like, I didn't want to be seen. I was scared because, you know, coming from a place of people teasing you. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to be on camera. I was afraid. I was afraid right. of public speaking. I was afraid of getting on the stage and, mm. and, and I turned down money mm -hmm. after money. No, you don't want me. Cause I was being booked. Right. But I was like, mm, no, 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 no. 
you don't love me. Right. You want to keep them up the block, or you want rocks up here. You you go with somebody else, but you and don't. Want everybody me. wanted Shelly Shell. What do you mean? I, I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> Listen, I'm grateful, but I turned down a lot of money. I turned down a lot of opportunities speaking. Mm -hmm. I could have probably started my speaking career earlier on. I'm sure. I'm um, sure. But I was afraid. I was afraid. Fear held me back. Like even even back going back to high school. Like mm -hmm. I knew I could dance mm -hmm. and there was a cheerleading the trunk competition. And I walked down the hall and I was getting ready to go to, and I was like, Err! and I got scared. Mm. And it's amazing around. how fear can, can block that blessing because that every time, every time we do something, it's a blessing. And it's amazing how we can let fear block our blessing. Um, you know, and some of us don't have, we don't care about nothing. We just, I'm a crazy person. You I just fearless. don't care. I'm like, I'm fearless. You fearless. And you'll be like, you just going to do that. Yep. I don't care. We will see if it works. But you know, I'm, you know, in this business, I meet a lot of people who, who say I'm afraid. And it's like, we, we try to, of course we, we both, we do the same thing really. And it's like, we're looking at trying to help people remove that fear, you know? And I think, by you having that experience, it's like you can kind of connect with that Ooh, person. Sure. You know, I'm a you just do it, Shelly. You know, because I tell you that I'll be like, Shelly, just do it. You can do it. You can do yeah, it. Yeah, right. And I'm, I'm like, the motivator. I'm like, how do you have so much confidence <laughs> that I can do it? How do you believe? And I'm not over here believing. And, but, and for mm -hmm. for me to talk to you, it's always been you're Shelly Shell. You know, that's literally what I always say. To you, but you're Shelly Shell. You know, that? yeah, you're Shelly Shell. I don't understand what you mean. You're Shelly Shell. And it's like, you know, we, we, we came up, you know, I came up behind you. So it was like, yeah, we create, I created a little legacy for myself, but mine is because I ain't afraid. I'm just out there. Like if I mess up this rap, y'all, y'all just go on and make up something to throw in there. I got you. Jump off yeah. It just stage, is what it is. <laughs> jump off the stage. I'm wild. I'm going to have a ball. But then it's like to even hear that Shelly Shell has fear. Shelly oh, yeah. Shell went through sure. obstacles. That's so big for a person right now who want to start a podcast. Who's saying, oh my God, I want to start a podcast. I got so much to say. I've literally worked with people who actually, you know, came on. The, this is a training room, y'all, who come in here and say, all right, so where do I start? And I'm like, well, we're going to record it. We're not going to go live, but we're going to record it. But they're scared to talk. You know, their voice will change and things like that. And it's mm -hmm. so, it, it's just complicated to see this Shelly Shell turn into Shelly Shell. Like, what? wait, what just happened? You know what I mean? Right. So it's, it's, it's I feel like things. you're such an influence to people and, you know, to all of us who, who've seen you, whether we all want to admit it or not. Like, honestly, you've actually, I've seen, I remember being like maybe 20, if, the, if even 20, and seeing you on Urban Expressions and was like, oh my God, like I seen her in person, y'all. She, I seen her there, like she, she real, you know, because you, we didn't see that. We didn't see live young black women on TV hosting hip hop and I'm hip hop to the core, to the like core. I, to all the way. So it was just like, I was so fascinated to see it. Do I know you, you seen, you always seen me. I was always somewhere doing something, yes, right? We, but we was rolling, we, we was rolling right? Mm -hmm. So what do you see now? Where because I want to see urban expressions again. I want to see the the core of it. I know I'm, I'm asking for a lot. You looking at me already? Like Nina, don't start your crap. But I think we're missing it. I'm. I think that it's a big piece of what's missing because one thing I seen and I know that you did was you gave light on videos that wouldn't have gotten any light. It's one thing, and YouTube is dope. Don't get me wrong, but it's not urban expressions. It's not, and you know, it's not to me. It's not going to me. It's, I mean, it's not. I, I, I took a put a lot of money into building urbanexpressions.com, mm -hmm. so, and I'm still putting so, a lot of money. See how I get her to act now. You know, get up and promote, woman. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I'm going to tell you, I, I put a lot of money out. Like, literally, I say, you know what, put my money where my mouth is. It's not going for me. It's not going. Urbanexpressions.com is there. Urban I got a I got a whole news mag. I got a whole like a year ago. I started a news mag. Yes, it was like did. I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> I could do this. And because I used to write for every other paper. Mm -hmm. Now I was like, wait a minute. I want it. I remember. Absolutely. And that why it is like there's always a why with that one. That why was Bruce Webb. You remember Bruce Webb and mm -hmm. Webb's apartment? Yeah. Webb's apartment store, the radio, <laughs> um, the uh record store, right? Yeah. So Bruce Webb worked with Sonny Driver, who was the um has the oldest black newspaper in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. which is the scoop. I love the scoop, right? Yep. Shout out to the scoop. We, That's our girlfriend. We we, <laughs> we, 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 like all of us, we together. So, but uh, Mr. Webb, 
was down there at that at that mm. place every single week. He was he lived breathed. It was on his back. Wow. Like he it was to he's like you got to write for this. He was pushing mm-hmm. us, and he you know he was the mentor. Like he he's my why right now. He's wow. I got why my why's are these 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 people who came are really legendary. Us. They and are so yeah, legendary. They are legendary. They, and the thing is, they love me. Like wow. they they love me, and he loved me so much, and he used to teach me game. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. But then when he passed away, he didn't have any money. It's big for me. Well, you know me. Don't get me activated, Shelly. Not here. This is about that's, you. I'm sorry. That's, that's, it's big for me. Yes. Um, and and it, it should be, you know, and it's so funny that you say that. And I think that's that's my why. That's my why of coming, setting all this up, making this happen, having a business, you know, and that's big. It's big. That's big because you feel that, right? I feel it with every, like. I don't want. He's my mentor. He he got, he can teach you under the rock. Like he got game for days, but financially, he he didn't worry about the money. He did his record store. At, you know, had to be demolished. Um, mm. and and Sunny Drivers gets the you know legacy lives on through Cherie, mm-hmm. right? Because she 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 purchased it and she's allowing it to live on. Scoop lives forever. Yes. Mr. Webb didn't own the didn't own it. Mm-hmm. He didn't own it. Right. So do we go to to understanding how hard people can work in a business that they don't even own. He worked his tail off. He went from event to event three two one taking the pictures mm. and he did everything and i love him like you know no people don't don't know that we were always there we were we were literally he's like grandpa the us like bye bye mm-hmm. and we were there in, in his in his last hours wow. we threw him a um we threw him a, a last celebration charlie mack came uh event money mm. i was gonna call him monica but he <laughs> <laughs> right event event money for mm-hmm. those event money snoo uh perry p like we brought everyone in because mm. this, this was his last and final hours and wow. and it was like yo and then we get to the day and Thank God for um Miss Edna took care of him. Miss Edna was his his longtime friend, mm. a- actually an a- a- ex girlfriend, but they can't remain. <laughs> That's usually how it go. <laughs> but, but they remain friends, and she took care of him. Wow. And 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 it is like, but at that final hour, we gotta go scrape our money. Yeah. And and to me. I just knew in my mind right now when it came down to own it, it's bigger than I, I would work for Sharif for I didn't want to leave the scoop. I wanted us to let me mm-hmm. have this and you have this come. I don't want to leave, right. but what I want to have is my own. Right. What I want to have is is the opportunity that my late urban expressions will live on. Urban expressions became mine fully in 2004. I know we skipped, we probably skipped over 10 million things. We but, got, look, there's so you know, much. We might need four is, interviews, y'all. Is, like in 2004, um, it was given to me solely. It was because because of my grind for my work. You know, it's mm-hmm. a, Monica started before me. It's a lot of people started before right, me. Right. But my grind didn't stop. My hustle was, hustle. my hustle was on hustle. And that's why like, you are not respect the hustle. It was like. <laughs> if it, anybody it, know. It, yeah. It, right. it, it was my, my I, I mean, I, just. Urban expressions is on my back. But you made it. You made it you. Any, you know, and that's why, you know, one of the most important things for me was to see somebody make something that, you know, it, you took ownership. Talk about accountability. Like, this is my baby. My baby. And, you know, I, I personally, personally, deep down in my heart say, when we grab onto a brand, like, respect the hustle. I don't care how many you see out here. That's my baby brand that's my baby that's me and it's like you know in the streets radio these are my my ba- I, I created these babies you know mm-hmm. and that's how and like you said i don't want to and i anybody work with me ever you know i'm sorry y'all I'm such a crazy person but we got to make money it's the gotta it's ground money. one is the rule of thumb for me i will not talk to you i will not be your friend my friends that love me know i'll be like no you ain't making no money you got to make money we got to make money and that's that's so big because of what you said seeing people work so hard and then not even having enough money to put you in the ground is is mind blowing to me so it's like everything we do no matter how much passion or love we have for it we got to figure out how to make money with it 
you know, and I, I think that's one of the things where it became your why. It became my, it is my why. Yeah. It's it's yeah. always been my why. I need to make money and I don't want to work for nobody. I mean, we can use, we, I don't want to work for nobody. I ain't got time to be working for people. So <laughs> the, to be able to work for yourself and make money, because honestly, it's so hard for those two to go together, working for yourself and making money, because usually it, it's, it's, it's a challenge. But now we just live in a time. What do you think about the time we live in now? Versus what we did. Because Shelly, we came from MySpace, Urban Expressions, right? Um, we came from a world where the resources weren't as assess easily accessible as they are now. What do you think about now? Because for, for now, I'm on easy. You know, I'm, I skateboard through life and you already know this. But what do you think about now from where we actually came from? Because when people say you and I are legends, even though you and I both look the same and be like, mm, yeah, whatever, okay, thanks, it's cute. But... We're like, oh, I should be stupid rich right now. But and, and we and we're getting there, right? Because mm -hmm. we both we both realize, hey, we put too much passion and not and, and grind into and not enough give me your money. Where we we but we learned. I did, I did a lot of that. We did a we did a lot of that. And I mean we both did. And how do you feel now knowing how easily accessible this is? Because I know you're reaching. I see you now. I'll be like, this girl don't sleep. Mm -hmm. And I thought my grind was crazy, but it's 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 great. But what do you think about that time change? This, you know, because we went from not so digital to super digital now. When, when, <laughs> when social media came, it's the craziest thing. When social media came around, I was mad. I was so <laughs> mad. I thought it was going to take, I know I'm TV too. No, mm -hmm. I'm TV. Urban Expressions is on TV. So I'm like, mm -mm. and Rockstar P, uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's the youngin on it. You know what I mean? Rockstar mm -hmm. P said, you need to get on um, MySpace. I said, no. <laughs> he said, you need to get on. He said, you need it over. You need to get on MySpace. I said, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. And he said, here's your MySpace. Here's your, here's your account. Here's your, here's your password. Go. And I said, go. okay. Mm -hmm. I got no choice. So I get in it. <laughs> oh, I like this. Okay. Oh, right, I, right. Oh, I like this. <laughs> and then. I started doing um, single on a Saturday night, my other TV show, single on a Saturday mm -hmm. night and how I grew that show, mm. how like we hadn't even done the show. Wow. But social media allowed us to come together. Mm. I, 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 I put a Facebook group. God told me exactly the steps to do. Here to go. The single on a Saturday night was um, a song by Jade Austin, who was one of wow. the Urban Expressions. <laughs> originals <laughs> right so it was her song mm. guy said go to her her mom um who was our manager and ask could you can i only can we use the song mm -hmm. can you sponsor the show mm -hmm. and can she be on the show wow so <laughs> and and then to form the group told me exactly who to do put the form the group i mm -hmm. formed the facebook group mm. and then i said uh Connie, put your people in. Um, uh, Tammy, put your people in. Everybody, put your people in. All your single folks, we put them all in this group. Wow! And everybody pulled and put this in the group, <laughs> and the group was popping. Mm. So by the time we get to the show and it launched on February, um, February, um, twenty twelve. By the mm. time we get to the show, we like, where my good girlfriend at? We wow. good girlfriends, then. of course. We good girl. Of where course. my girl? Oh, that's you. Oh, you that's tasty. The, and that's the power you, of you social think, media, yeah, right? Exactly. And I'm like, golly, we so we. I mean, we like tight. We did we right. tight. This show is right. is popping. So we get together, and I'm like, whoa. And I'm like, this whole social media, the thing that I was afraid of at first, this whole <laughs> social media thing. Then gave me good girlfriends. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Some <laughs> people that you don't realize you would have even connected with. Good girlfriends with. and good guy friends. I right. mean, shout out to David Scott. Shout out. To, I mean, there's, <laughs> there's uh, Stormy, Roberto. Yes. I mean, I had a, I mean, had I had an even amount of men and women. And the show is, uh, this is 20, what did you say? This is 2024. It started in 2012. And we still here. Wow. Right? So, awesome. but it all awesome. came from social media. So one day I'm like. I said, God, I love social media. Help me make money. <laughs> now, that was old. These was my, my exact prayer. I'm sitting at the computer like this. God, I love social media. Help me make money. <laughs> and God said, a week later, I got a call from corporate. Mm -hmm. I got a call from Rick Foreman. Let's let's call it as this. You know what? Sometimes I didn't brag. I, I used to be like, but I'm bragging on God. I'm not bragging on me. As you should. So let me tell you, you. So should. I get a call from Rick Foreman, the former owner of 
Foreman Mills, right? Mm. He, 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 he's, he, uh, he said, listen, let's go to breakfast. All right, cool. You know, because he was, Foreman Mills was a sponsor of Urban Expression. Foreman Mills right. gave me my first, I, this is things I didn't tell before. I thought I wasn't supposed to tell it. But right. now I get to tell it because I want to teach you something. So my right. first sponsorship deal with Foreman Mills was $18,000. $18,000. This young girl who didn't know nothing went in there. $18,000. 18000 Just like, And see how big that was. And you know, no matter how small that first sponsorship is, it's like huge. No matter what. You'd be like, I don't care how big or small. I did it. Because that's the that's the knocking of the door. You knock the door down right there. I mean, $18,000 is almost, is almost uh, $20,000. Yeah, well... <laughs> now and from then till now that's still that's what we can double that because yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we, I, I need i need some of them type of deals right but exactly. but it was um so that that's that's the history so mm. urban, uh former mills was urban expression so then after i prayed that prayer one week later i got the call let's go to breakfast i go to breakfast and we sit there i mean it's not not usual it's unusual we right we, i mean it's years years of knowing them and he's like, we eating. He's like, oh, let me tell you what the, the, what you doing. Da, 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 da. And, I, and I was telling him some of the stuff I was doing. Mm -hmm. And he was like, mm, why don't you come on the inside? You mean like a job? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like, yeah, you know, a, work, a work on, or a job at work? Work, work? what you mean? Work on the inside. But he said, let's come on the inside. And then he gave me an offer that I could not refuse. Mm. <laughs> it was an offer I could not refuse. And it was. It changed my life. It, it mm -hmm. you know, it, <laughs> it changed my Listen, whole life. It I was totally like, all it. right, I go in and I'm working in corporate. I'm mm -hmm. doing social media for one of the, they, they put how many stores? It was like 30 something 30, stores yeah. all across the country. And I am responsible for this. This is the person who didn't want to do social media. The same media. one that didn't want to log into my space. <laughs> Here right? we are. I, and I'm working in corporate and I'm responsible for some stuff. and. And I'm like, okay, all right, all right. So they started off at five thousand for um the, their Facebook page started mm -hmm. at five thousand. By the time I left, it was at fifty thousand. Nice. So nice. so and then I started the YouTube and I started and it's like yo, I get to do I I got to do everything I want. I got to put my people in commercials. So we doing commercials. I'm talking about um uh um toy box dolls. I know everybody knows toy box mm -hmm. dolls. Yep. She's in commercials. <laughs> I got um. Uh, Marcus, Marcus from the radio on. I got Keith from up the block. Yeah, I remember I got, them. I got I remember. everybody. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm so I'm getting my people. On. Locals putting, I got, putting, I got, creating jobs. I got Danny Garcia, and I didn't tell nobody this. Wow, I got Danny Garcia uh, on my uh, endorsement deal. So I, we signed. I got him. I was like, my first, my first big thing I got there. I was like, we should bring in Danny Garcia. And, uh, <laughs> And he said, and you know, Danny fits the demographic. Right. Um, uh, let's sign Danny Garcia to mm -hmm. a deal. And he did a tour of the former mills. We did an amazing deal. He did mm. commercials. Awesome. And I reached back. <laughs> I reached back. People don't talk about it because I didn't talk about it because it was me like, oh, I'm gonna keep that to myself. Yep. I don't know why I thought it was at that time. I thought it was keep it to myself. Now I'm like, oh, let me tell you about it because. If you want to know, somebody said, somebody said to me, how do you, you're teaching these classes and things, but what is your, do you have the um background in it? I said, yeah, because you almost made me fall through my door. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> Listen, yes, Shelly, you are one of the founders of this stuff. All of it, to be quite honest. And I think you, you haven't, you didn't take the credit. I didn't. And I was so I mad at you. I didn't want people to feel you. bad. I didn't want people to, oh, you to killed feel me. bad. <laughs> like, you know, I feel like I didn't you're, want you're too humble. To, you're too humble. It, it, you it, are. It was, but I didn't want people to feel bad. Like I didn't want people to think I'm bragging on my success. And I know we had a team of people, and I didn't want people to feel like, oh, I'm bragging on this. But, you led but so things, many. But these things happen. Things, like right. these things. These things. This, you know, Danny Garcia and his father Angel, they signed that contract, and we they got in the former mills, and 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 it's like, yo, wait a minute. And you're the how. Wait, you are the wait, how for the so, how? so many. So why are we not talking about this? Why Danny not Danny not giving me an endorsement? Why is that not happening? Because literally, it, it, I know what money got put in your pocket. I didn't Absolutely. get. I didn't profit off of it. Right. But I knew right. Danny Garcia was, was connecting the perfect, people. Was the perfect match for for what was going on. And I'm like, 
yo, I didn't tell nobody this. I'm well, I'm glad people, you sharing it now because I, I knew people people came to the thing. They see me there, like I seen some of my friends. Simon right. came. Right. Simon One Punch Car. Mm-hmm. He came up to the the signing. Yeah, crew. Like, there was people that came up to the sign and they see me doing this thing, but I'm basically working. It wasn't looking. I think it didn't look take, like I put this thing we, together. We take back seats. I know I'm I'm known for doing it. Like a lot of events that I created here in this city that people don't even realize I started it, and they'll tell mm-hmm. me, oh, such and such is doing this. I'm like, yeah, I created it. But I think we we're we both do that. And I, you know, as much as I'm mad as I get at you for doing it, I also done it as well. And I think it's time we start to tell who we are and our stories and all the stuff we created in this city because we did a lot, a whole lot. Uh, we put a lot of people on, we put a lot of people in positions, we put a lot of names that we see today that are out here doing podcasts. Did it want no podcast? Shelly is uh Urban Expressions TV. I'm podcast. If you really know, you know. And that's the thing. Do you know we don't get our props? I don't fight people to get props from it. We don't get our props. We gotta talk about it. We hit it. We hit it. And this is why I think you know (laughs) we can't be mad at anybody else because we didn't say, hey, step up and do it. But we're not from an era where we because we felt like it was bragging. It was like, yeah, I did it. We didn't come from an era that that people said what they did. They hit it. They hit. They were behind the scenes. They was behind the scenes. They was what you call gatekeepers you keep yes. it behind you don't, don't say, tell nobody don't tell nobody yeah. but 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 let's think about it let's think about what we just what now we have to tell it and i tell it from a place like listen you somebody asked me do do you have the uh, did you do this before what i created it she, what do you mean do a, i did it was a young person she was um young i mean young and she got millions right. of followers and mm-hmm. she said well you about to teach this but do you have the um did you do this before? Do you have the um? Was it credibility or do you have the? I was like, um, I think you, I think you better do the homework on this. Right find out here. who I am. Do your like, homework. Like, find out who like I am. I'm, and what I do. I, I'm I'm. I got you a deal with another company, and that's another thing. I got influencers deals with um another mm-hmm. company, thousands of dollars. Right. 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 And 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 I, I I you if I got you in position to get this money, and then you ask me. Do I have um how can you teach this? How can I teach this? How can I not? How can I how not? Could I, not? I, I said I didn't go around telling everybody, like, yo, this person got a deal, this person got a deal, this one, this like, but I did a video. <laughs> I did a video because it was for a class. Mm-hmm. I ain't posted though. I should have. I might still. I don't know. I'm still I'm still, I'm still working. We posting through. it. She's posting and it, y'all. She's posting it, it. Right. I'm her bully. <laughs> but I, the, the video we did it for the class and the class was for Lisa Nichols class and it was a speaking class mm-hmm. and you had to talk about a high and go to a low. Wow. And then the high was supposed to, it said, um, I, I can't believe that, um, I had a company pay over $600,000. I can't remember the amount mm-hmm. of dollars to influencers that I picked. And, and, and I was like, I don't want to feel like it's bragging. So I didn't put it. I put it out in the group for my credit, of course. <laughs> right, right. Because I need to do my but class. You need, you need your need... credit too in life. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah too. But I was like, I ain't putting this out. I was like, man, it's I don't want people to think because if you see it, you might think I'm bragging. And I'm saying I'm not. But you know, bragging. we live in a world of where people brag now. And but it's I'm hard. It's, it's on we struggle me. with that. We I'm struggle with God. that. Just because it was because we me. were we were given these talents, we were given we were these abilities. Though. Because I know, and you know, I'll be the first to tell you, I don't even know how I do hair for this stuff. I just do. I just do. And it, it is. It's, it's the, for me, it's the work of a law. I'll be like, all right, well, what are we going to explore today? today you know, right? and we get up with that energy. And I say, that's why I, my circle is my circle because we're all like minded. We all like, you know, I'm going to get this with a guy because he's going to make it happen. And we don't worry about the what ifs and I can't and or the bragging or telling people we Ooh. did it because. You know, as mu- it's hard for me to tell people I created that or did this or got this person started or create, you know, it's like, mm, I did it, but so what? But now it's a must that we do this, that we share mm. and take, re- you know, responsibility for the, the amazing things that we created, amazing things that we did, the stages that we offered. Because a lot of times, a lot I know a lot of people in the city that would never stepped on a big stage with real lights, a hundred thousand dollar stage if I hadn't put all my money into throwing that show. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like, I think we, we open doors and we, we don't talk about it. We just, 
we sit and we sit humble. We weren't taught to talk and, about it. And we weren't. And I'm so glad to see that you're finally opening up along with I me. Mean, we're I'm here. trying. We're, I guess we're here. It's we're us. talking about it's it. It's us. So I guess it's easier yeah. to come out because it's like, yo, we talk. We did a lot, Shelly. We did a lot. And, yeah. you know, like, I I used to be behind you. I used to be, y'all know, y'all see, y'all be like, how's Nina? That's Nina. Come on. Not done. She was crazy. She was just running behind people. But I, I think it's important. We, we've, we've done a lot of different things. And now it's important. Put that video out. Put that video yes. out. And let's, let's show people. My, my whole, my whole perspective is showing people who who people are. The respect the hustle is because I, I believe in Philadelphia is so many people that have done so many amazing things and they don't get the credit for who they are and what they do. Um, so it's like, okay, what did you do? Who are you? You know, I get the so I get so many people that say, well, who was that? Well, what did she do? And my head spin like one of them possessed people because I'm like, well, how do you not know? And you're wondering like, how are you in this business? And you don't know who that is. And then I realized people don't do homework anymore. They it's just it's all based on assumptions and popularity. Because she's popular and she got it popping right now today, she wouldn't have it popping right now today if we didn't kick those doors down. Yeah. And I, I think it's important now that you know you share because you're doing amazing things, not just with social media. You just got your doctorate. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. you just, you you got Urban Expressions up and running. You got the mag going around. Like, and I think a lot of artists right now need to contact you, to contact you to make sure that they're in those places. Like, even with my stuff going on, I'm like, okay, but y'all need to be everywhere. This is why it's important that we all work together because we got all these up and coming artists who need the publicity. Listen, yeah. you need us. We don't need you. You need us. Cause we got people knocking our door down, but we need to get to the people that's right here. And I feel like some of them don't know who we are. I got on the live. Somebody pulled me on the live and a rapper, a known female rapper was like, well, who are you? And I was like, nobody, nobody, you know? And it, it was just, that was my response because I felt like if you don't know who I am, it's probably a problem being as though, you know, I only own one of the biggest radio stations in the city and I could be playing your music. <laughs> like, but <laughs> who needs the money? Not you, right? But I, I feel like that's that's one of the things people don't connect with us, the people who actually are behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But some of that is our fault because we don't put ourselves out there. So we are taking accountability right? here that's today. <laughs> we took that accountability. We said, but we, we have to take that accountability Absolutely. because we've been we've been we were taught not to really talk about it. We were taught not to brag. I, right. We, we, me personally, I just didn't want people to feel bad around me. Although there were people around me that bragged, and and I, and and they and I'm like, oh man, they brag, they bragging on this, and we're in the same company, and they won't even turn around and give you your props, and you'd be like, really, you didn't mention? Okay. Yeah. But, so they're bragging. Mm -hmm. But now, now, now that we know better, we do better. Yes, we do. So now it's 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 because I need I'm going to make money. You know, the goal oh. is listen. You should hire me. Uh, you should you should take my program. You should you should come to my coaching. Um, and if you want to know, you could check the receipts. My receipts are valid. You know, what absolutely, I mean? absolutely. Because this is this this is you. You can ask anybody in the city. You know, I still where wherever I go. It's urban expressions. Well, no it doesn't what. matter. I can go anywhere. And I thank God for it. It's not me. I keep saying that because it's not me. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it. But the thing is, it's happening. And God allows us to make our money. So now it's time to let me show you when my five my five day challenge is coming up. And then when I then I offer you this this program to to work yes. with me to pay to pay me to teach you some things then that's what should happen. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I invest in myself on a high level, so I suggest people to, to invest in themselves on a high yeah. level. And I, I have made some big investments in into learning and, and growing and, and understanding structure and being able to give it to you guys. And I think that's where a lot of people say, "Well, what am I paying for? You're paying for the knowledge that I paid for. I paid for knowledge, and now I'm selling it to you." And hopefully you get enough out of me so you can go sell it to somebody Same else. Money. Because listen, I am not the person to get in the way. We don't get in your way. We will be like, oh, look, you doing it. <laughs> go girl. Oh, take this with you. You're going to need this too. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's where, you know, a lot of people get stuck because we're not in a world of gatekeeping anymore. 
I get on these podcasts and I tell people all, I drop all the jewels. You want to know how to make money doing music? I will tell you, I have no problem telling you. Well, I sit with you one-on-one, I charge for that. But if you tune into my podcast, you'll get all the details. And that's one of the things I think that, you know, you and I, we didn't do. We come from a world of gatekeeping. We come from the, 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 the we're children of the gatekeepers. We are, yes, you know, are. and here we are, we're, we're trying to adjust so I think I love the fact that you're taking accountability. I'm definitely taking accountability. And hopefully our counterpart, our counterparts are taking accountability. I'll, I'll get them. Don't worry. But, you know, it's like we got to take accountability because we do. We, it's time to brag. It's time to show that we've been out. Like I've been on podcasts since 2006, confirmed through iHeartMedia. And I will tell y'all my story at some point. But, you know, it's like, wow, I didn't even know. I'm like, it's 18 years. I didn't know it was that long until I just got my old archive files yesterday. Did you? From a CEO of a major company, and I will make that announcement. But at the end of the day, it's like, hey, I, whoa, they sent me my archives because you are an originator of this. We want to do something for you here. First, take this. So, looking at that, it was a wake up call. It was a wake up call to me. Like, you know what? You don't break. You don't break. You don't tell nobody what you're doing. You just quietly do stuff and then go home and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, you know, and it's like, I've even seen people take credit for things that I literally sat in my living room and created. Mm. Literally sat in my living room. Like I remember the moment when I, it came to my mind and I see people out here, you know, doing those things now mm -hmm. and no hard feelings, but just understand that I have receipts. So when I start putting it out there, I don't want to hear anything. There's no challenge. There's nothing. You can't mess with me with receipts. Cause I got videos, you know, mm -hmm. it's like it, here it is. But you know, it's like I'm I'm super proud of you, Shelly. Like honestly, um, not even just from what you did back in the day, because you were the mentor, but what you do now, what you do now, your change, the way that you are aggressively approaching everything. I love that because I know that's that's tough. That's not easy. I'm the aggressor, you know. All my friends got these different personalities. I'm the I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it now, you know, and to see everybody kind of just shape shifting and moving in that that moving to their own rhythm you know what i mean like yeah. i see you every morning i'll be like shelly up praying like <laughs> you know what i mean i know who up doing everything i'll be like let me see who i go social media first let me see who okay all right i know you at what 400 and something in oh, your no, in prayer 500 see look i, I didn't miss a whole hundred he prayers hundred, <laughs> but i think you know it's it's um you are a champion uh at influencing and uh you know just just keep doing what you're doing keep influencing because i don't i think people that even just kind of tune into you don't even realize the influence that you have but they look for it so some people we influence so many people and they don't they're not going to give us those props they're not just not going to happen for some people it just is what it is but we do it nonetheless and we're going to get our blessings from that so it don't matter but at the same time it's like we have to keep motivating each other and ourselves and to motivate yourself you know that's the biggest challenge you know, especially for, for us that we're humble. We we like, yeah. oh, I got all this stuff. Like, I'm like, I was scared to tell him, like, I, I bought a house. I can't tell nobody because I don't want nobody to think I'm bragging that I did this, you know. Right, and you're what, one of the only people that, you know, have come to visit because I don't have people at my house. I but, know, that's right. You know, so, <laughs> but it's, it's, these are things that, you know, I think we are so, we're private because we know we got this this media thing and we we learn to separate it but i think for us because we've been in it for so long it's it's a little hard to come out and say oh let me share something personal with y'all like because we don't do that we like mm -mm, that's personal that's my personal life but to be able to do it now i think we're to a point where we, we're no, opening we, up we got you now yeah like, it's, it's like whatever everything is happening like i'm gonna tell you everything you know what i mean but it yes. is because this is what where we are and i mean it's not even about being in the day and age of social media but it is it is the marketing yeah of what we need to do we have to market yeah. ourselves so that that the younger generation doesn't say well who are you who are you and i and you like <laughs> and, and what you don't know what, what credibility do you have? what oh yeah. my that's a hard that's a hard you know when someone says that to me it hit, it hit different <laughs> it's like oh you don't know who i am like and i'm not gonna lie when that person was like well, who are you i just i was like nobody and you know and other people was on a lot like for real you're just gonna say that and i was like well maybe that person don't need to know who i am maybe it's not time for that person i'm sure i'll They'll find out, but you know, maybe it's not the time. And and I was okay with it, but it was just very interesting to find out somebody in this city 
is doing, you know, trying to get to a plateau. And I'm like, I'm a decision maker. You didn't know? Like, okay. But I love the fact that it still hit. It still hit hard. And you know what? That's my home. That's that's my motivation like, to make sure now mm-hmm. that y'all know who I am. So now I won't get that because I know now, like, you know what? I have to be more vocal. Shelly has to be more vocal because everything I, I come up with, trust me, I'll be like, Shelly, you need to do better. <laughs> I mean, like Shelly got to do better. Like, wait, what you talking? But, yeah, but Shelly got to do better too. <laughs> yeah, but we, but we, and that's okay. That's what accountability that's, is. Because that's what it is. I want, yes. I want to grow. You want to grow. We want to grow together. Grow. The goal is for us all to win because there's enough money for everybody. For everybody. Let's talk. Let, let, let let's before we not stopping. Money. We don't care. We going as long as I want. But <laughs> <laughs> let, let's just talk about that for one second. Like that's the the gatekeeping and the understand what advertising is because I, I think. One of the things I, I see a lot of people getting stuck with, like, is, oh, I'm not going to tell you how to do this because, you know, I'm getting sponsors. and every- Let's just talk about how much money advertisers really spend, really spend. Like, I own an advertising company, a firm or whatever you want to call it. But you're talking twenty to $30,000 a month. Do you know how many people we can feed? You know, I, my goal is to create jobs. Yeah, yeah. And and with a ready, my radio station is all tech. It's all tech. Shelly probably run and punch me in the head sometime, but it's all tech, right? So I'm building algorithms, I'm building all this stuff in there. And I tell people it's is it's not the same. I'm not sitting behind anything playing nothing, trust me. It's all tech. And we we look at these type of things, and I'm like, we run ads through here. It's millions and millions and millions on top of millions of dollars in ad money being spent Mm. right so if i got a situation guess what the goal the goal at this point is when those ads come my way when i open the floodgates because i'm blocking everybody i'm still working on stuff but when those doors open i want you to get some ads i'm like oh i got my head to shut set her her stuff up i'm gonna have to go set this person stuff up and that because i want to see it's what i'm gonna do with thirty thousand dollars a month Not, not to say i ain't gonna figure it out but Honestly, that could be spread out. We can create jobs. We can get uh, employee artists. My entire station is about employing artists. Artists need to understand how this works behind the scenes Mm -hmm. so they can go ahead and make some money and then invest in their projects without worrying about going to McDonald's to work because that's not, they don't care about your schedule. The radio station might be a little more flexible, right? Mm -hmm. So we, that's kind of what we we're here to do. And, you know, I think where people now, I want people to realize we're, we're asking for your support. We're asking for your help, Shelly and I both, because you need to help us help you. As you create, you got urban expressions. It would be dope for you to have a young person involved in, you know, somebody new in the game, a new fresh face. We want to we want to see new fresh faces. We want to see new DJs, new people to be a part of us, not just the people who know who we are, but the people who don't know who we are so they can get to know us. And so we can help them to grow because we got the we got the master plan. We know how it works. Mm-hmm. We didn't get and, it. And if it's somebody out there who had this long time dream to do it. And they haven't done it. And they're like, listen, how do I get through it? It's opportunity for them. Opportunity. It's opportunity Absolutely. for anybody. Like, listen, it don't matter what age you are. Do not let your age, your, whether you're whether you're older, whether you're seasoned oh, yes. or, or not, just let it. Just go ahead. You got that dream? Yes. You got that? You, yes. Listen, you want to do a podcast? You want to speak? Let's do it. You want to be on the radio? Let's do it. You want to you wanna start your business? Let's do it. It doesn't it. matter what age you are. You can do it. Come on. Let's, let's go and do it. Because guess what? enough money out there for For everybody everybody everybody. it's so much money i didn't see so much money behind the scenes it's so many zeros i was like all right i don't even know how to read that number i mean it's it's really so much money in this business and i just really hope everybody kind of educate yourself get into it podcast if you want to podcast i'm all for it 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 could be 10 million podcasts it's not going to stop anybody's money you just have to learn where you land you got to learn who your target audience is cater to your target audience give them what they're looking for so they'll tune into you and that's simply it get the money get the money get the money i mean i do and i do mine a different way meaning i i I learned how to do instagram Mm -hmm. that's why i wrote the book interview your way to instagram group i found a system she got got a process and instagram is just where i where i live 
And the reason why I haven't gone and said, hey, let's let's do a studio because I want this. I want to show mm -hmm. this this and how it works. Let's see how this goes. And let, let me we call these case studies. Yeah, yeah there we you call go. these case studies. Right? <laughs> like that, that whole case study became a best selling book because I saw Absolutely. the process. And it is a podcast. It is every single day. Mm -hmm. It's a podcast. It's a it's a radio show. It's a it's whatever it's supposed to be. It's a YouTube. Absolutely. It can be all of and the it things. can be monetized. Understand how to monetize. And this is where Shelly comes in to teach you guys how to monetize it. I think that's one of the traps that people get into because there's multiple ways to monetize things. It's not just one way. And but you gotta have consistency. The one thing I see with people, and you probably see this too, is people get on and want to do it, and they like, I ain't making no money, and it's and like, stop. I don't see you on Shelly you on every morning at this time. Trust me, she's every on there morning. every morning. Okay, I get up just to look her and um and Will Latif Little. That right? Okay, right they are right here every morning faithfully. And this is, you know, these are the things that you know I stress people. This is what if that if social media is your thing. This is how you need to do it. This is who I'm going to show you. Follow these two people. Do what they do. At least get close. Be the third person in my timeline. And then I'll tell you if you're doing it right. Because then you ain't doing it right. Because if you can't be consistent with anything. And that's, you know, we're going to kind of end with that consistency. consistency. Let's let's talk about how consistent you have to be when you're doing, rather it's podcasts, radio. You want to be a rapper. You want <laughs> you know, you want to do social media, no matter what you want to do. You have to have some form of consistency and dedication to it. Otherwise, only thing I can promise is you're going to fail. Yeah, you will definitely fail. I uh, One of my core values is consistency. That I, I, I got it as consistent. That, that's my superpower, being consistent in what I do because it is necessary the where I got to how you get to wherever you, how you build relationships, how you get everything. to where you are, mm -hmm. how, how you just everything because people can trust you because they know you're going to show up. They if you know. show up for doing something every day for 551 days, somebody is looking and saying, yo, that's a consistent person that she I want to. She is consistent. Like, I wake see. up and be like, she is consistent. Like, whoa, there goes Shelly. Good morning, Shelly. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> but that's how it's supposed to be. And yes. That's, and that's teach that, that that's one of those lessons. So in it, that's one of those lessons. Do what you got to do. Money will come. Yes, it money will. will come, but you yes, gotta invest. Will. You gotta invest in yourself. And when we say invest, I, I'm I want to piggyback because that's people think when we say invest, they're like money, and we're like, no, not just money. Yes, it may cost you something, but sometimes it could be totally free. But you still need to invest your time. You gotta invest your your brain power, your commitment, because mm -hmm. I, I feel like a lot of people will be in something but not wholeheartedly in. And without that commitment, that investment is the biggest commitment is the biggest investment, especially in social media. Like you got to really condition yourself to get because I'm not I, people are like, don't you do social media? And I'd be like, no, not really. I don't do social. media. I'm not consistent enough to do social media because I got 10,000 other things that I like to do. So I do those things. But social media, you have to want to be there. Mm -hmm. You have to. I want to program it and let it do itself. I don't. And, 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 and there's a, there's there's a way yeah, to do automate this. automation works too. We I love automation, but but that's the thing. Teaching consistency, I think that's one of the things we kind of really really teach because I believe once a person is consistent, they they got it, they're gonna run. But without that consistency, and that's why the mindset. No matter what show you, you see me on, respect the hustle. Everybody's gonna say the same thing, and it's mindset. We all focus on the same thing. This is why I would say we kind of all do the same thing. We help people get an understanding of where they need to be. Mm -hmm. That mindset is key. Your mindset. Where's your mind? Because if you're not mentally in this, it's impossible. It's impossible for sure. Yeah, you like know. you're going to fail. I be telling people all the time, you're going to fail. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're going to fail. And the thing, let's talk about failure with all of this journey, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's the show started in 1992. From all of this mm -hmm. journey, there's been some failures. There's been some times my car was repossessed. There was some times where the foreclosure notice was on the door. Mm -hmm. There's some times where I'm just like, yo, can somebody help me? Right, right. It's been some time. So it wasn't always good. It wasn't yes. always. There was times where the show was just like it was coming from one station. It was the time. It was mm -hmm. the time. And financially, I was like, I'm going to keep this going. I got to keep it going. Yes. But, but yes. But in it all, when you have a belief in what you're doing, your why is big, you're not going to give up. 
it's going to be you may have to pivot mm -hmm. and do something different too you might have to go to a job i'm queen to go get a job real quick right right so <laughs> yeah i had to go um i had to be a process server basically that just was like somebody who was a courier mm -hmm. and i did some uh you know i had to uh serve some subpoenas okay here, creatively here. <laughs> serve some subpoenas but it was a process or right. i had to do that mm -hmm. you know i had to do what i needed to do but the point was that it don't we can't talk about the great things without, without talking talk about, about the, the bad because because yeah. there was there was some times where it wasn't i wasn't all the way it's, up it's not pretty mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know we we've been down we've been down i was in bad places bad spaces uh homeless i'll talk about my journey been homeless and I, I think, like you said, Shell, we we talk about the good things. Let's talk about those bad. We've been through struggles. We've been through struggles. I had kids, and it's like, oh, they gotta eat. They gotta eat. I gotta keep this going. I gotta pay for that and this. I gotta pay this rent. Uh, mm -hmm. The car, maybe I don't even need a car right now because. And I mean, we ain't had Uber back then. It was just like a taxi take eighteen hours to get to you. Like we really think about all the stuff we used to really go through in the struggles. That got us here. I mean, and I love my struggles because they help me to endure now. Now I don't have a care in the world because I'll be like, look, struggle ain't nothing to me. I'm ready for it. But that's one of the things we want to condition. Like, but I don't like it no more. I don't, don't want to struggle. We don't like it. We don't like it. We don't like it. I'm going to get me wrong, guys. Come we don't on. like it. I don't want to struggle. I'm ready to stay up. Come on. Let's stay up. Come on. What we got to do? All the way up. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think that's one of the things, like you said, it's, it's important that we share that, you know. Um, And I personally don't want to forget that, you know, I came from all kinds of, <laughs> my story ain't pretty, Ooh. you know. Um. I'm from the street, I'm from North, North Philly, you know, RF Philly, North. you know what I mean? North Philly. North. So <laughs> it, it was, it was what it was, you know, but it's like, we, we actually was able to come out and, and shine even, even in our darkness, we shine because I know times where I was struggling, but I was still out here. I was still moving. I was still beating the streets. I was getting it done out here selling ad spots and doing this and doing this like we selling like i'm selling you some stuff and i don't even know how i'm gonna buy oodles and noodles tonight to feed the family like right. it is what it is but that's part of the commitment failure mm -hmm. is a part of the commitment and i tell people when they come in si you're signing up for this how much are you willing to commit and when i put that percentage on the board and it's below 50 to to the project i know they're not ready you know, and unfortunately, I just get I'll get you out of here because I'm not I'm sorry. I'm just not a good person when it comes to that. People will buy <laughs> what they value. Right. That's it. People will buy and invest in what they value. Mm -hmm. I call it an investment. So when you're buying a consult, when you're when you're investing in a consultant or a coach or a program that that's an investment because it's going to give you an ROI and a return on investment. Return on investment. However, However, people will say, well, I don't want to spend that type of money on that. But yet you'll spend that kind of money to go on a vacation. Mm -hmm. You'll spend that money to go do whatever it is you want to do. Like, what, is that vacation going to pay you back? Yes, you'll get the memories. But what if you spend this money, invest this money or a coach or course, some ads, mm -hmm. and you invest this money right. to do this, right? This You're investing. And then it gives you this bigger ROI for your vacation. The next vacation going to be all the way up, right? The right. next vacation is going to be amazing, right? Mm -hmm. But but we're conditioned to just have a good time right now. Exactly. Let's have a good time. I, if I ask you to 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 buy, you, you know, listen, I give you an offer, and and I I don't want you to buy. I'm not, I don't want you to buy. Mm -hmm. I want you to, if you see the value, you do it. That's on you. Exactly. That's on you. Cause I know, I know what's going no to happen. No oversells, no oversells right? here. I know what's going to happen, but, but then you'll go and, and you'll say, listen, I want to go here. I want to go on a cruise. I want to go this and I'm going to go that. And I'm like, but you don't want to invest in the knowledge that will take you to give you a better cruise, exactly. a better this. It's going to, it, it could give more you, consecutive cruises. Like, yeah, right. It could give you passes, passive income. It could show you the way mm -hmm. we could show you everything that we went through the hard times, the, 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 the not everything that we went through our but, pivots, how we pivot. Ooh. Um, because I know my pivots, you know, I'll, I'll be doing one thing and the next thing I'm like, all right, this ain't, this ain't it no more. So listen, mm -hmm. I got to switch this up. We, we, can share that knowledge with you and i believe that's what consultants you know especially with our background like we we came from the muscle it's not like we mm -hmm. this is not in a textbook you know and i tell people the difference between a consultant or a coach or you know someone the, the difference is is we're giving you real life knowledge we're giving you what how we did it the way that we did it 
with our issues, like, look, and you may run into this. I'm, I'm notorious. I'd be like, and you could be faced with this, but you got to be ready to change and do this. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important that they hear that, that people understand that, you know, you got to be ready to pivot. You got to be ready to fail. You got to be ready to fail. Do you accept failure? And I say, you know, people look at me all the time, like, Ooh. what I'm here for, do you accept failure? I need you to be able to accept failure and make failure your friend because failure is not always a bad thing. It's a lesson. Mm -hmm. And you need to take that lesson. You need to move forward with that lesson, you know, and people need to understand what they're paying a consultant for, you know, because like you said, people take trips and to put that trip over this knowledge. And here's the thing. We're not always going to be available because we're growing because I know I'm growing. I'm not, I'm not going to always be available to consult at the price that I consult today. Right, or, or at the price, right? So where it was a hundred dollars last time, I, it's going to be five thousand to ten thousand next Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Like you, you, you ten thousand up. Like the the prices are going to go up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The more the more we do, the more results. The more it's going to go up. Prices, but but you change. have the opportunity. When you have the opportunity, you seize the opportunity because you. But once again, people spend spend money on what they see value in, and maybe maybe. Maybe just maybe you don't see the value in in um being a lifelong learner. Maybe you don't see the Absolutely. value in in uh taking taking a shortcut by getting the knowledge that you need. It, like it's a it's a shortcut to where you want to go. Absolutely. Maybe or maybe you think that if you piece together every YouTube video, you will get it. No, you're gonna get pieces. <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get yes. pieces. But when you get a clear person that you can call up, hey, I got this idea. Blah, 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 blah. That's yes. what I get. What, blah, 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 what you think about this? That when you can get that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like first hand knowledge. I mean, and even for you want to learn a podcast, I teach you how to podcast. You actually come in here, you sit on this couch, you get the whole exact setup, and you sit here and you do it. We we test you on all right, let's get it, let's do it. And you know, and a lot of people they don't realize that. They're like, what am I paying for? Because I'm going to give it to you. We're going to do it for real. Mm. We're going to do it for real. You say you want to be a podcaster. Let me see if you can talk to people. Let me see if you can interview. Then we go back and we watch that interview. And I tell you, look, you, you could have did this different. You could have did this. We could have did this like this. I believe that the best teachers is the ones who do it with you, who teach you, show you, I love hold it. your hands. Yes. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, that. It doesn't work like that for everybody because I have clients who are like, could you just give me the information? So I'll be like, I'll say no more. Here you go. And those are great. But for those who have these things, you know, like I said, I'm going to build a studio. People are like, oh, you're going to bring it out? No. I own a company where this is what I do. So I'm going to use this to teach people, teach people who want to learn to become podcasters, who want to learn how to monetize because I, I don't do nothing without making money. If it ain't making money, it ain't making sense to me. So I'll be like, well, I don't even make money. So we, we got to learn how to make money doing what we love mm -hmm. because how rewarding is it to be able to wake up and go into people say you always working I love it there <laughs> I like that place it's mine I built it you know nice. it's my place and just you know and and not to brag on that because I found people who got offended when I said that like no I haven't worked in years in a job job but I love what I do and it's work but it's not a job because I feel like job become a bad word. You know, it's like, it's a bad word. No, it's not a bad word. We, we... It's a bad word to me. I don't want to go to a job. I want to go to a place where I'm happy. And this is my happy place. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a job. It is a job. I'm, I'm going to say it, it's, it's not. Work. It's work. Got, because I do come in here work. Y'all see my dust. Y'all be like, wow. Oh, we gotta work. It's work. You got to work over there. But, but we, in, we enjoy what we do. It's um, good. And we created income doing what we do. And I think that's, that's the message. That's the core message, you guys. Get out here. Get with Shelly Show, <laughs> for real. Because Shelly Show is patient and kind. And I look, she'll tell y'all, I, I tell her, Shelly, you're so nice. Oh, no. Shelly, Shelly is. But she takes her time with you and, you know, um, to get people to where they, they need to be. Because it's a, it's a start. And when y'all really ready to fight and, and go hard, then I'm your girl. Right because we going for the big bucks and we knocking the door down. But you got to be strapped and ready because... I really, I'm, I'm different. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm different. I come from I, the IT world. We, I'm more automation. Shelly is gonna get you started. I'm, I'm all automation. Let's be so realistic. So I say we all, I'm organic, and then you, yeah, you're, you're yeah, I'm the automation. Well, yeah, I, but my thing is, I want to come. But you do you. automation. Yeah, you, you, you teach that to. I mean, I you dab in both. AI, of them. Yeah, but, right. But I'm saying, but the automation, I, I want to, I want to post my post. 
Yeah. And I want to be there for it. Shelly is organic. She want to be on it. I don't want to be. I want to go on the beach with the Cancun people. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to be gone. I don't want to. I'd be like work. What, what you mean? But no, I, I think that. But it's a it's a growth level. It's a it's a time where you know we we start, and that's why I said our partnership is is wonderful because they get to. You got to start there. If they don't start there, if you don't know how the machine works, you can't run it. And I don't like tech at all. No, so I'm coming over here. <laughs> You can, you can have that. And, and we're going to have people who don't like tech. And I tell people all the time, like, I'm a consultant, but I am business technology. Listen to the words, business technology consultant. If you don't have technology in your business, then I have to refer you to my friend who can actually understand what you're talking about. Because I don't. I'm a computer. And any of my friends know me. No, I am literally a computer. I'm like a little mini Apple. Like, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I am AI. <laughs> but that's that's the difference. And I think people just, you know, preparation is everything. Some people like tech. Some people hate it. Some people like, oh, no, I can't. And that's okay. That's okay. Because some people are going to be able to do it organically. They're going to love it organically. And some people are going to say, this was great. How do I get away from the desk? Because that's not for me. And then they get to me. And that's that's our dynamic, guys. That's definitely our dynamic. And hopefully you guys are ready to start a business. Um, social media is a great way, whether you're going to be a content creator, or influencer, what am I missing? I know it's more to it, but um, those are the main things to grow your business. Grow your business. If you're a business owner already and Come you want to grow now, your business. business owners. I, yes. You know, that, that's, that's my passion. That's part of what, you know, when I tell you my, my, my audience is how can you say I have a business, but I don't do social media. I don't understand. You don't add up. I don't, I don't understand those words. Like no. you got this free tool. And, and you can go and do it, and, and it can be whatever you want it to be, mm -hmm. and it's up to you, and you won't use it to grow your business. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. No, I don't don't get add it. up. It don't but add up. But since I don't get it, I want to teach you how to get it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Well, Shelly, we are going to wrap up. Thank you so much. And we didn't even... We It's so much. We're going to have to come back again, you guys, because... We got a whole bunch of stuff to tell y'all. We got so much information between the two of us that we can do this all day. We talk for hours and hours and hours behind the scene, but I'm glad we're able to put it on the camera and share some of this with y'all. We'll be back to do this again, definitely, for sure. And um, hopefully you guys get a lot out of this. Definitely, Shelly, drop all your, your info. I'm going to drop it on the YouTube as well. But drop all your info and tell them how to find you. Okay. If they don't, for them people who don't you, know. You can find me <laughs> on Instagram at Shelly Show Williams. At Shelly Show Williams. Find me on Instagram. And uh, that's where you can find me. Uh, you can go to Urban Expressions. And Expressions is with an X. Urban Expressions. is not an EX, but UrbanExpressions.com. And you can get the news mag. You can get it. And I, oh, I forgot. This is you the first one to know. October 19th is Uppity Awards, right? Okay. And we just, um, the Hall of Fame will be going to Tough Crew. Oh. We give a hey. Tough Crew an award. Um, My guys. Yes, yes. <laughs> on October 19th, we just got nice. the uh, solidified it today. They deserve so it. They deserve they it. They do deserve it. They've done so much in the city. Like, and, just hip hop. It hop. is. They and are the culture. And that's they, they're getting a um, Hall of Fame award from the um, Urban Expressions Hall of Fame. Yes. Award. Tough crew. So, yeah, yes, that's what's yes. going Congratulations on. Congratulations to but, Tough Crew. But go to Instagram at Shelly Show Williams. I talk about everything and everything I'm doing, everything I want to do. But if you can't get me there, you can go to UrbanExpressions.com. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And make sure y'all get the Urban Expression mag as well. Right, you just go definitely. right there and download it. Boom, pick the definitely. download. Take definitely, download. that's super important. She got all the juice in there, you know. So make sure y'all just stay in the loop of everything Shelly's doing. All the information, I believe, is going to be at the bottom of the screen okay. here. So make sure y'all just tap in. Use us as resources. We are here. We are not too busy to stop and say, oh, what do you need? We'll point you in the right direction. Like I said, we we don't all do the same thing. So we do. We will point you in the direction that you need to be in. Unfortunately, I don't do everything. Shelly don't do everything, but we know who do. If we don't yeah. do it, we got other people. We do have a circle of resources. So make sure y'all tap in. Industries Radio, Urban Expressions. Make y'all artists, please, please, please. And I just want to just get into this one more time. Get with all the stations. Stop saying, oh, I mess with this station or I mess with that. Get with all of them. Get your music everywhere. Every spin counts. It doesn't matter if it's if they're not licensed, they can give you the popularity. If they're licensed, you're gonna get that spin counted. If if they just shouting you out, if they're reposting you, 
go to everybody get your music everywhere as an artist I know that I need to tap into everything and everybody. I'm trying to distribute it. I'm my own distributor. I want to get it to everybody. And you should too. So definitely, definitely, definitely. I encourage you to make sure you tap in with us. Um, you can upload your music. You can send it to the email. How We all got ways of doing it on this mm-hmm. website. Come to our websites. Make sure you show us some love. Support us. Post about us. Tag us. Let us know you listening. Let us know you there. Make sure you're supporting us so we can support you. Because the only way we'll see you. Shelly runs her show. I run my show. Literally. When I say show, I mean these businesses. These big giant businesses in the background. We don't get to look at everybody individually like we would love to do all the time. So make sure you reach out to us. So we can say, oh, look, we I don't know all the artists. I would love to. But I know I don't have time. So please reach out to me, tag me, Nina Capone, Shelly Shell, and get get out there. Get out there. Get out there. And shout out to everybody that tuned in. We definitely thank you for listening. And we'll be back again for sure. For sure. So you are tuning to Respect the Hustle in the Streets Radio. In the Streets Radio.com. You'll be able to see this everywhere. This actual interview will be on all platforms, um, audio and visual as well. So talk to you soon. Here we go. Here we go.